We have to make a stand, guys. Otherwise, simply, there is going to be no food. Hi, I'm Catherine McBean, and we at the People's Food and Farming Alliance share your concerns about farming. We're going to take a look at the bigger picture that's affecting us all, and most importantly, look at the solutions. How can corporate profit go over food? This effort would be a massive, massive windfall for governments uh, worldwide and the NECs themselves. Net zero is being used as a vehicle to get people to give up their land and their freedom. CO2 makes up just 0.04% of our atmosphere, the majority of which is naturally occurring. Now, no one denies the climate is changing. It has done for millennia. But is it really down to these minuscule amounts of CO2 that human activity produces? Hello, my name is Paul Burgess and I'm the science guy that fights the madness of net zero and climate alarmism. What we have today is a total suppression of the truth. I can provide the simple science that shows that even doubling methane makes no difference to the climate and that the fact of adding more CO2 to the climate is wholly beneficial. So what are the solutions? The People's Supermarket is non-profit making, so it can pay the farmers more money for their produce. It can keep the prices keener for the customer. With a couple of thousand producers in the UK, the shops may be producers selling direct from the farm, or they may be food hubs that offer every product. You can see how much of that final selling price is going to the producer. What we offer at the moment is a organic fruit and veg box scheme where people can have a box and collect from a local collection point or have it delivered to them, but also a create your own order, we call it, where people choose everything which goes into their box. What we're, we're focused on is, is supporting is the farmers, um, what we call it a kind of new story for the farmers. We want to help them offering a secure and alternative market. So anything kind of produced, we can buy and, and distribute nationally. There are also many other varied solutions being implemented across the UK. But PFFA are keen to take this further, so we're holding a public forum on Zoom. Please do join us on Wednesday the 6th and welcome those in your community who are ready to help you find a better way forward.